hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a quick video i just wanted to share this as it's the last kiwi core crate that i have as you know we are all in lockdown so you can hear my kids in the background also my husband's working from home as well and the baby's sleeping so basically there isn't any place for me to go that is quiet so i wanted to show you guys this quickly as i've just kind of taken it out of the box and yeah i thought i'll do this now because otherwise i won't get a chance to do it later anyway and i'm actually even filming this on my phone because it'll just be easier for me to edit it so this was meant to arrive in december so it took a bit longer to get to us and it's arrived now in january um basically this is the last box that i paid for as it says so i don't know if i want to get some more or not i don't know but i have done the unboxing for all the other boxes that i've received and i have a playlist which i will leave in the description and you can check out so as usual you get the wonder magazine this is the fill with me box and it basically talks about feelings so you get the magazine which normally will just tell you a bit about the stages your child is going through and how to deal with this topic the next thing you get is the cards that tell you about the toys that you have and how to use them so that's what you get and then the other thing you get with every box is also the beyond crate cards this card gives you ideas on how to basically deal with this topic using other things that you can find around the house that's not included within the box so that's the general stuff that you get one thing is that you get a book with every crate so this is poppy's feelings poppy is basically the panda so when you flip this over it basically just shows you the toys and on this side it just tells you what the toys are so to start with this first one basically it says it's a cuddly soft toy that you can use just to practice um, compassion and empathy so obviously it's poppy the panda and it's got like a little soft fabric that comes with it that you can play with together i actually quite like it adam's just getting the hang of um like hugging toys he's got a teddy and he gives the teddy a hug he like carries it and things like that so i can really see him doing that with this and then the next thing are these blocks basically these blocks are like little puzzles that you can make different faces with so you can just kind of change one part of it or the other part so you can mix and match the facial expressions and they're good size for a baby and i like the fact that there's just two of them so at this age my son is only uh, 14 months so this will be good it's not very complicated as there's only two pieces so yeah i actually quite like this so the next thing is the placemat. Basically, this is a food grade silicon. So you can basically use food or fruit to make different faces and feelings on the panda. And I think this will be great for snacks and you can even put other things like paint and stuff like that. So yeah, I actually like this. I could really see myself using it for like snack time and yeah just using it for different things but yeah i quite like it so the last toy is this emotional stacker so you get this piece and then you get these little pieces that you can stack them up in here and basically one side there's a photo of a baby with an expression and then on the other side it's written what that is so it says surprise the only thing I would personally say is that the pictures of the kids is not that diverse. So, yeah, that would be my only observation. But, yeah, but otherwise, I think it will be a very cool toy, something for the kids 
or Adam to play with and I'm sure he would like it and it's there's six of them so it looks quite reasonable and I'm sure he'll get it like I said the cards tell you how to use it and how to play with it if anybody is interested in purchasing this I will leave my family and friend discount code that you can use so my son is up let's see how he plays with this and then this or oh, this look find a hug a little hug no he's a bit grumpy just woke up he doesn't want to give mommy hug hug i'm a hug I think he's more interested in that than the panda. Abba. Abba, yes. That means here. Ah, I don't know if they're too small. In the gap. Is the gap too small? Abba, he does the coin. And I think maybe the coin might be bigger. There, a bar. This way, this way. Yeah, he needs to figure this one out. It seems a little bit complicated for his age. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll work it out. Here, here, here. Not there, here. Baba. Here. You go. Appa, that one's full. That one's full. Okay, let me turn. Yes. Anyway, guys, hope you found this useful. If you are thinking of getting the panda crate, but yeah, I would highly recommend them. I actually love their toys. A lot of them are wooden toys, and yeah, my well, my son loves them so. So this stacker, guys, has um, these little green bits on the both sides. It makes it more stable <laughs> and it can stand on its own. And this one has managed to put those in until we decided to destroy it. You're going to put one in? Yeah, he is struggling a bit because I feel like it might be a, his motor skills is not maybe that developed for his age, but he can do it. I'll show you the book and how it looks. So it says relaxed, bored, curious. One second. Happy and basically just different kind of feelings this one's quite happy with his toy to be honest and i think this might be his favorite <laughs> yay see he's getting the hang of that already and i feel it's taking it's time if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Cheer, bye bye wave he looks confused <laughs>